This is a bladder that has been opened to reveal an invasive urothelial carcinoma. For orientation, this is the bladder, and here's the prostate. This is quite obviously the ulcerated tumor. Most carcinomas of the bladder are urothelial. However, squamous cell and glandular carcinomas can occur. Bladder cancer is more common in men, and smoking is one of the most important risk factors. Other risk factors include exposure to aerolamines, infection with schistosoma hematobium, long-term exposure to cyclophosphamide, and irradiation. The most common presenting symptom is painless hematuria. Most tumors arise from the lateral or posterior wall of the bladder. Grossly, tumors may be flat, nodular, or papillary. Papillary lesions are erythematous, elevated papillary excrescences that may or may not be invasive. This specimen shows extensive involvement by an ulcerated urothelial carcinoma. Aggressive tumors can extend into and through the bladder wall to invade the prostate and surrounding structures. Depth of invasion is an important prognostic factor.